I never used to think that I was that concerned with whether I'm right or not in, in any sort of a discussion. I really didn't think I focused on that much. I, I didn't think I found that to be very important. But just this this realization I had uh, is just like, wow, I really, I, it's, that's been my main concern. And I didn't know that was my main concern. Um, my friend Tony, who I had a fallout for a couple months and then we're friends again, and I'm thankful really, really, really thankful. Um, he was trying to tell me that. And I didn't, I just, I didn't understand. I didn't really get what he was saying. I didn't realize just how much I was putting my ego into everything. I'm just trying to figure out where I got this idea that if I can't state my opinion on something that I'm not being who I am. I mean, our opinions might be the one of the main things that makes us who we are but I just felt like I had to state it I just had to state it even if it was to a detriment and it's not like I mean I, I felt like if I didn't st say it that I was hiding something I mean, it's not, I mean, a lot of the element here on YouTube is people just stating their opinions. And I mean, and that's, that's good and all. And, and it's not like I'm going to stop stating my opinions, but I just felt it so important. And now it's just like, do I need to feed my ego that much? And how big has my ego been all this time? And when I used to be so depressed, how does that work? How does being depressed but still having some sort of a big ego work? How does that work? How can one have a big ego and have and yet have a low self-esteem? How just I I'm trying to wrap my mind around that. How does that work? It's just it's just a thought that was going through my head. I, I just I uh I guess I kind of regret to some degree how long I have put my ego first. I kind of regret it. I guess I'm appreciating more and more the discussion that I had with Bewildered Ape. I had associated low self-esteem with having no ego. And that's not, that's just not the case. I, I just wonder how common it is for those 
who are struggling with a low self-esteem, like I was prior to the end of 2013, um, how common that is. How common is that? What is the relationship between ego and self-esteem? I know I've got a lot of reading to do now, but uh, I just, I, it's just questions that go through my mind now. And maybe that's not very interesting, but I just for some reason felt I needed to share it. So...